and Ralph's fly box. Today we're going to tie a variation of the Benton Caddis. It's for the uh, Mother's Day Caddis hatch. This pattern did very well for me last year, as did the standard Benton Caddis. And let's go over how to tie it. I start off with a standard Orvis tactical uh, wide gape dry fly hook, size 12. It's actually a size 14, I believe. It's a short shank hook. Gives the same footprint as a size standard size 14 hook, uh, but with the larger gape. And we're going to start off with Olive Dunn Uni Thread. And we'll start our hack. We'll start our thread. Build a thread base to the rear of the shank. The first material we're going to tie in is an olive CDC feather. Uh, not a very large one, you don't need one. I use most of my shorts for these. I, I pick through when I buy the larger bags. And What we're going to do is we're going to sweep all of our, like standard caddis, we're going to, our bent caddis, we're going to sweep all of our fibers to the tip. And then we're going to first tie it in. You don't have to worry about how far the tips extend. When we first wrap it in here. Tie it in loosely. Pull that back to about the beginning of the thorax, about the 60% point. And then we'll tie that in permanently. And then bring our thread forward to that same point. We're going to grab our CDC feather, our hackle pliers. You don't want to muscle this material when you're first twisting it, but you're going to spin it to where it starts to form a loop. Not a very tight one. You don't have to pull a lot of tension on it. It's fairly fragile when you're twisting it, but once you tie it in, you wrap it in like this, it becomes very durable, I've found while fishing it. Just one in front of the other. You're not going to build the body, you're just going to wrap this material forward. You get to the front, sometimes you may find yourself putting an extra twist in. And bring it up. Don't worry about the flyers, you want them. You want those straggling fibers. That's going to give you the motion in the water. And I believe it's a trigger point for this pattern when you get that CDC in the film. And tie that down. Next material you're going to tie in is speckled badger. You can use golden badger. Um, the speckled badger is just a little bit darker than a standard silver badger. Gives you that nice badger core, um, but a little bit darker. You're going to tie this in wet fly fashion with the shiny side or the curved side facing towards the eye of the hook. And then you're going to wrap that on. You're only going to put about two, maybe three turns of hackle. What you're doing is just like the standard Benton hackle, if you've seen that, uh, you're giving that that identifiable caddis footprint in the water from the from the surface. Uh, if you look at a caddis fly when you flip it upside down, you see one thing that stands out, and that's the defining line between the abdomen and the legs. And regardless of what kind of shroud it's under, whether it's CDC, hackle, elk hair, turkey flat, whatever you choose to use as a wing, um, that 
on the real on the on the live caddis it's gonna stand out that that dividing line and that's what we're getting here with the the Benton caddis pattern instead of the palmered hackle all the way forward we uh, we get that dividing line and a little surface action with the CDC I like to take it a little bit shorter than the right about let those fibers extend about to the back of the bend of the hook next material we're going to tie in is done elk hair and you can tie this in just like a standard elk hair caddis measure this to the bend of the hook I keep it long I don't I don't trim it like a standard caddis pattern I keep this pattern long I get it nice and cinched down and then I pull the long fibers forward I build a little bit of a chin with the thread and then I whip finish sweep those fibers back good three turn whip finish and then I pull the fibers back to the front and gather them up and I trim my head and there it is the Benton version of the that one flying fiber right there it stands out as out of place. The, Bent, the Benton version of the Mother's Day Caddis it has been a very effective pattern for me. Uh, the Benton Caddis outfished my other Caddis patterns this past season noticeably on most streams that I fished. And again you're looking for that footprint from the bottom, that defining line from where the abdomen comes into the front legs of that caddis fly. Hope it adds to your box as it has mine. Good luck. See you in the water.